I want to show you a simple payables process in Dynamics AX 2012. I'm going to create a new vendor, create a vendor's invoice, and then pay that vendor's invoice. So let's get started. We'll start in the Accounts Payable Area page. We'll go to the Common Group under the Vendors folder and then hit All Vendors. And these are all the vendors I have in my system at this time. But let's create another one. So I'm going to go over here and click on New. My system is set up to automatically give me new vendor account numbers. You can also make this a manual process if you want to. So go ahead and enter the vendor's name. And I'll sign it to a vendor group that I set up previously. And I'm going to add an address and a contact. So let's just scroll down here a little bit. I'll add the address here. Here's the address information. I'll click OK. Then I want to add a contact as well. So I'll add that contact here and make that the primary contact. And there's two other pieces of information I want to add to this particular vendor. So let's scroll down a little further. And what I want to do is I want to add a method of payment, make that a check. And then I've got dimensions set up in my chart of accounts. I've got the main account, but then I have three additional financial dimensions set up. So I have my default dimension selected, and I'm done adding this new vendor. If I refresh this here, a new vendor will be added to my list. So now let's go enter a vendor's invoice. We'll go back to the area page. And under the invoices folder here, let's select invoice journal. Here I'm going to enter the vendor's invoice. The first thing I want to do is add a new journal. So I'll click on new. I set up a journal type called AP invoice. Then I'm going to click on the lines button here. This will allow me to enter individual invoices. Let's tab across here. I'll look up the new vendor I just added. Select it here. I'll enter the vendor's invoice, a short description, and then the amount of the invoice. Because I signed this new vendor to a vendor group and specified the default dimensions, that account number shows up here. I could change it if I want to, but I'm fine with it. So I've entered all the information I need for a new vendor's invoice. So let's go ahead and post that. Now the next step is to create a payment for that invoice. So let's go back to the AP area page. We'll go into the Payments folder, to the Payment Journal menu item. We'll create a new payment journal. Here's the journal type I have for that. We'll go back to the Lines button. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the Payment Proposal area and click on Create Payment Proposal. This is going to allow me to pull in all the vendor's invoices I want to pay in this particular payment. I'm just going to select OK and pull them all in. You can see them listed here. Then what I want to do is transfer that to the Payment Journal. I've got these three payments that are ready to be made. But what I want to do is I'm not going to pay all of them. I'm not going to pay this one here. So I'll select that. Hit Delete. And also on this one here, I don't want to pay the full amount. I'll just pay a partial amount. So now I'm done adjusting these journal items. So the next thing to do is to generate the payments. And then create checks for these. And here are the two checks that were created through this process. So all I have to do is print those out in the printer and finish up this process by hitting close. And then what I want to do next is post this journal. And I'm done. Let's go back to the vendor list, take a look at this new vendor. We can look at the transactions right from this vendor master file. You can see we've got the invoice here and the payment. You can look at the payment, see that here. So this was a simple payables process in AX 2012, where I created a vendor, created the vendor's invoice, and then included that in the check run.